The Brentwood Arts Exchange is hosting a very special exhibit for nearly 40 years. H. Elaine Jackson acquired and showed work by prominent mid-20th century artists of color. Now you have the opportunity to see that work as well. CTV Sonia Shudvaspa is standing by with more. Well, H. Elaine Jackson is a name that you may not have heard of, but folks in the arts community, well, they know her pretty well. And here at the Brentwood Arts Exchange, they are just excited to feature all of these artworks. And she is a collector who owns all of this stuff, and she is allowing the Arts Exchange to feature it. And nobody is more excited than Phil Davis, and he works here. Uh, Phil, very exciting for all of you all to have this here. Oh yeah, we're, uh, we're extremely excited to have this work here. Um, we show a lot of work by local artists, uh, which we love, and but this is a really unique opportunity that we have artwork by artists who are internationally known. Uh, people are in museums, uh, national museums in the mall, um, to bring it right here to our community in Prince George's County. Yeah, that is very unique. So tell me about some of these paintings. Um, tell me about, majority of them deal with the African-American diaspora, right? That's correct. So uh, most artists in the show are African-American. Uh, there are a handful of artists who are from South Africa, Nigeria, and Senegal. Um, but for example, the artwork that we're in front of, um, Romare Bearden, um, really prominent American artist uh, throughout the 20th century. A um, big influence of mine as I was growing up, but actually learning artwork from my uncle, who's a painter, um, one of the artists he talked about more than anybody. Um, so from the time I was a kid, this, this is artwork that I was looking at to learn how to become an artist. Another artwork in the show that we're really excited to have um, is a print by Elizabeth Catlett, who is also a very well-known, prominent uh, African-American artist who spent a lot of her career in Mexico, but really influenced arts, artists throughout the world uh, in the U.S. and abroad, um, printmaking, drawing, that. Um, Really, a lot of really deeply emotional work, personal work that brings out a, a lot about, um, you know, just the experience of being a human and what it's like. And uh, um, for me to see her work here, um, re really, is, it's just inspiring. There are drawings by a uh, sculptor in Baltimore named James Earl Reed, um, who um, everyone has seen his work uh, depicting uh, sculptures of homeless people on all kinds of ad campaigns advocating for the homeless. Um, just, just really well known. Somebody that you've you've probably seen his work. Um, you've been by it, but maybe not known who he is. What is a common theme among all of the uh, you know the artwork that you see here? And and is there is there something that Miss um, Jackson really um, draws herself to? Is there something that yeah. she just really loves? Well, I, I think one thing that comes out in the show is that um, half of the artists in the show are women, and. Um, you, you don't see that many shows that have women that well representative. So themes about um, just being a woman, um, ideas women have forced upon them, or just the points of view of women come up a lot in the show. And we should mention that the Brentwood Arts Exchange is, uh, this exhibit is going to be free to the public and uh, they have hours on the weekends as well. So if you want to come in, uh, you can certainly do that. I'm Sonia Shivasva. I'm going to send it back to you. Thank you, Sonia. And again, the exhibit will run until March 17th.